let me move on to di number 11 so friends here they have given a table chart right and the top of the table chart where we can find the total number of employees are 1 lakh 80 thousand so friends out of this 1 lakh 80 thousand employees where the first column is uh, this 1 lakh 80 thousand employees are working in various field that is finance r and purchasing and production and marketing right and the second column is percentage of employees working okay friends all the all the values are given in percentage so friends and the third column and the fourth column is most important right the ratio of their ages where third column is the employees who are less than 30 and the fourth column is the employees who are equal to 30 and greater than 30 right so friends third column employees who are at age of less than 30 and the fourth column is equal to 30 and more than 30 right okay friends let me move on to the various question based on this chart so question number one so what is the total number of employees aged 30 or above working in the company so friends listen here friends our target to find all the da equation faster right when we look at this question our target to find what is the total number of employee aged 30 or above it is lengthy right because we need to find how many employees are there in finance department then we need to find hrm purchasing r and production everything it will take you more than five minutes friends if you follow the normal procedure surely it will take you more than five minutes so friends my advice is if you want to crack this question faster always look at the options carefully listen here friends here the option last number is nine right first option the last number is nine here the last number is 0, here the last number is 7, 3 and 5. So friends, in all the options where we can find the last number is different. So it is more than enough to find only the last number, right? Friends, look at the technique, friends. First of all, let me find how many employees are there in finance department who are aged 30 or above, right? We know that finance in finance department, 13 percentage of people are working, right? Out of this 1,80,000 where 13 percentage are in finance so out of this our target to find the employee who are aged 30 or above so the ratio will be 3 divided by total ratio that is 5 plus 3 will be 8 so friends we can cancel 0 and 0 so friends i think we can cancel this on 8 table right when we cancel this on 8 table so friends uh, 8 twos are 16 right so the remainder will be 2 again 8 twos are 16 the remainder will be 4 right so 8 fives are 40 friends listen here friends 225 into 13 into 3 will be 39 kindly don't multiply this and waste your time with the exams it is more than enough to find only the last number here the last number is 9 here the last number is 5 right so 9 into 5 will be 45 so we can surely say that the last number is 5 friends don't kindly calculate the entire value right because all the last numbers are different right it is more than enough to find only the last number so friends here the last number is 9 here the last number is 5 9 into 5 will be 45 so finally we have found that the last number will be 5 so friends next is uh, hrm right so hrm will be so 1800 friends we don't want to write this 100 and we know that we can cancel 2020 so it is more than enough to write only 1800 so friends 1800 in hrm it will be 18 percentage right only 18 right in hrm the people who are aged above 30 that will be 1 divided by total ratio that is 4 friends listen here friends i think we can cancel this on uh, right okay we think france is on 4 table 4 4s are 16 right so the remainder will be 220 so 5 4s are 20 that is 450 friends this can be written as 450 into 18 listen here friends here the last number is 8 here the last number is 0 so 8 into 0 will be 0 so i can definitely say that for this hrm the last number will be 0 and next is purchasing right so purchasing and similarly purchasing will be 17 percentage so 1800 into 17 into and uh, purchasing where ratio will be 2 divided by total ratio that is 5 so friends i think we can cancel this on 5 table right so 5 threes are 15 remainder will be 3 that is 30 6 fives are 30 and 0 friends listen here friends 360 so 17 into 2 will be 34 again here the last number is 4 here the last number is 0 so we can say that the last number will be 0 for purchasing right and uh, next is we need to find what is research and development okay r and t sorry r and t right so r and t were 22 percentage so out of this 1800 22 percentage and uh, we know that the ratio will be 12 divided by total ratio that is 25 right so friends i think we can cancel this on uh, 5 table right it will be easier 25 times so friends listen here friends when this on 5 table it's a 5 5 is 25 so 5 3 is a 15 i think reminder will be 360 right so 360 and again cancel this on 5 table friends this will be uh, 
7 by 35 remainder will be 1 that is 10 so 5 to 10 that is 72 so 72 into 22 into 12 friends so 72 listen here friends here the last number is 2 last number is 2 last number is 2 so 2 into 2 will be 4 so 4 into 2 will be 8 so we can surely say that the last number will be 8 right so next is production okay so production will be 13 percentage so 1800 into 13 and the production department by ratio 7 divided by 10 so friends we can cancel 0 and 0 so definitely here the last number is 0 right so we can surely say that last number will be 0 similarly next is marketing okay so friends marketing will be 17 percentage so 1800 into 17 and uh, the people who are aged above 30 will be 8 divided by total ratio that is 15 so friends uh, i think uh, we can cancel this on three table right when we cancel this or we can cancel this on 15 table friends 115 is a 15 so remainder will be 30 so 120 friends again the last number is zero friends listen here friends we don't want to calculate the entire number right it is more than enough to find only the last number just add only the last number friends last number is 5 so 5 plus 0 will be 5 so again plus 0 will be 5 so 5 plus 8 will be i think 13 so here it is 0 here it is 0 we can surely say that the last number ends with 3 so friends look at the option where the option last number is 3 we can surely say that here option number d where the last number ends with so we can say that option number D will be your answer friends kindly don't follow the traditional method right if you follow the traditional method finding a finance itself take you more than one minute the number of employee aged 30 or above working in finance is approximately what percentage of total number of employee working in the same department so friends listen here friends after reading this question we can surely say that the question looks like a format called x is what percentage of y so friends this looks like a format called x is what percentage of y so friends don't forget to watch all my previous videos because in the previous videos we have solved many different questions based on this pattern right so friends this question looks like a format called x is what percentage of y so the formula will be x divided by y into 100 Look friends the number of employee age 30 or above in finance right is what percentage of is what percentage of total number of employees right so we can say that the numerator x will be number of employee age 30 or above and the denominator y will be total number of employee working in the same department right so friends don't try to calculate the numerator separately and denominator separately just write all the values so that we can cancel easily listen here friends here the numerator x is employees who are aged 30 or above in finance right so we know the total number of employees are 180000 out of this 180000 where the finance department will be 13 percentage that is 13 divided by 100 so out of this the employees who are above 30 that is 3 ratio divided by total that is 5 plus 3 will be 8 so total divided by and the denominator y is the total number of employee working in the same department right so total number of employee will be 180000 and we need to find what is the total number of employee working in the same department same department meaning as finance right so we know that finance will be 13 percentage that is 13 by 100 into 100 100 so friends listen here friends the numerator x is total number of employee who are working in finance department that is aged 30 or above and the denominator y will be total number of employees who are working in the same department the meaning of same department is finance department right into 100 so friends we can easily cancel this 1 lakh 80,000 1 lakh 80,000 similar we can cancel 13 by 100 13 by 100 so finally the resultant values are 3 by 8 into 100 right so friends i think we can cancel this on two table or otherwise this can be written as 3 into 100 will be 300 divided by 8 friends so 8 into 3 will be 24 right 8 into 3 is a 24 reminder will be 6 i think 8 sevens are right so 8 sevens are 37 so approximately the answer will be 37 something we need to find an approximate answer right look at the options friends 35 percentage 37.5 40 42 45 now we have calculated approximately 37 so we can surely say that option number b that is 37.5 percentage will be your answer question number three so what is the difference between the total number of employee aged under 30 and the total number of employee aged 30 or above working in the company so friends listen here friends our target to find the difference right so our target to find the difference that is for the total number of employees who are aged under 30 
so less than 30 we need to find how many employees are there similarly we need to find how many employees are 30 and 30 plus so we need to find the difference between both the values right friends listen here friends while solving first question by using a shortcut we found that 80,823 is the total number of employees who are age 30 and 30 plus so friends while solving question number one we have calculated this value that too by using a shortcut right so 80,000 823 will be the total number of employees who are age 30 and 30 plus friends we know the total number of employees are 1 lakh 80 thousand so when we subtract 1 lakh 80 thousand minus 80 thousand 823 the resultant will be remaining employees that is who are less than 30 friends so friends when we subtract 1 lakh 80 thousand minus 80 thousand that is 823 right so here the last number 3 last number 0 it will be 7 right so again it will be 1 so again it will be 7 so friends 199 nine. so friends finally we got the total number of employees who are less than 30 will be 99,177 and we know the total number of employees who are 30 and 30 plus will be 80,823 so now we need to find what is the difference between both the values so friends just calculate the difference between both the values friends here the last number is 7 here the last number is 3 right so 7 minus 3 the resultant will be 4 so we can surely say that the last number will be 4 so friends I think the last Last number will be 4 we can eliminate option number B similarly we can eliminate option number C and also we can eliminate option number D right so the remaining are option E and option A because in both the options where the last number is 4 right and here friends the second number is 7 here the second number is 2 so 7 minus 2 will be 5 so we can show so friends here here it is 74 and here it is 54 we got the last two numbers are 54 so we can surely say that option number E will be your answer question number 4 the number of employee aged 30 or above working in marketing department is what percentage more than the employee aged under 30 working in the same department. So friends listen here friends this question looks like a format called x is what percentage x is what percentage more than y right i think we have already learned this formula and we have solved many different questions based on this formula on the previous da right so x is what percentage more than y will be x minus y divided by y into 100 friends listen here friends the question looks like a format called x is what percentage more than y the formula will be x minus y divided by y into 100 and here the value of x is the employee who are aged 30 and 30 above in the marketing department and the denominator y will be aged under 30 in the same department that is marketing department so friends don't find all the values separately write all the values on the formula so that we can cancel easily right so friends here x denotes the employee who are 30 and 30 plus in marketing department so we know the total number of employees are 1 lakh 80 thousand so out of this 180,000 marketing will be 17 percentage that is 17 divided by 100 so out of this we need to find aged above 30 so above 30 are in a ratio 8 divided by total ratio that is 15 minus of and here it is y friends so out of this 180,000 where marketing will be 17 percentage that is 17 by 100 into and we need to find under 30 so under 30 where in a ratio that is 7 divided by total ratio that is 15 so all divided by and here it is denominator y that is 1 lakh 80 thousand into 17 percentage the 17 by 100 into 7 divided by 15 so friends many time while solving this question kindly don't write this because if you saw all the previous videos we have used a shortcut for this question right so in order to understand you i'm just writing the steps so kindly don't write this step and waste your time on the exam because here 1 lakh 80 thousand or 1 lakh cancel all 1 lakh 80 thousand similarly we can cancel all 17 by 100 17 by 100 and 17 by 100 and look at the denominator difference denominator 15 denominator denominator 15 and denominator 15 so the remaining values are 8 minus 7 divided by 7 into 100 so friends 8 minus 7 will be 1 that is 1 divided by 7 into 100 so finally we can say that 100 divided by 7 will be your answer so we need to find what is 100 divided by 7 so friends we know that 14 into 7 will be 98 so we can say that approximately the answer will be 14 something right look at the option friends option number a is 5 percentage eliminated 
eliminated option number c is also eliminated we can surely say that option number d will be our answer because here 14 right we know that uh, 14 into 7 will be 98 so we can surely say that approximately the answer will be option number d that is 14.28 percentage so friends in your exams kindly don't write this and waste your time in all the previous videos i have used a shortcut for this cases so don't forget to watch all the previous videos so that uh, you can easily crack this question in an exam within 15 or 30 seconds question number five so what is the ratio of number of employee aged under 30 working in purchasing department to the number of employee aged 30 and above working in research and development so friends our target to find the ratio right that is for research and development and uh, for purchasing right and then purchasing we need to find the number of employee who are aged less than 30 so less than 30 and here in research and development employee who are aged 30 and above so 30 plus so friends listen here friends purchasing we need to find how many employees who are less than 30 right we know the total number of employees are 1 lakh 80 thousand so out of this 1 lakh 80 thousand purchasing department will be 17 percentage that is 17 divided by 100 so out of the 17 percentage we need to find how many employees are less than 30 so less than 30 will be 3 so divided by total ratio that is 5 is equal to and research and development so out of 1 lakh 80 thousand so research and development will be 22 percentage that is 22 divided by 100 so out of this 22 percentage we need to find how many employees are 30 and 30 plus so 30 and 30 plus are in a ratio 12 divided by total ratio that is 25 so friends we can cancel 1 lakh 80 thousand 1 lakh 80 thousand similarly we can cancel this 100 and 100 so friends i think we can cancel one five is a five 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 is a 25 right and similarly we can cancel one three is a three four three is a 12. so friends finally we got 17 into 1 is equals to 22 into 4 divided by 5. so friends when we cross this 17 into 5 is equals to 22 into 4. so 22 into 4 will be 88 so we need to find the ratio right and here it is sorry friends here it is ratio so okay so friends here it is 17 into 5 so 17 into 5 will be 35 so remaining will be 3 that is 85 friends so finally we can say that the answer for question number 5 will be 85 is to 88 that is option number c will be your answer